Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Magista Opus in the Academy Pack colorway. Now inside the box they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is black in color with black strings, features a Volt Yellow Nike swoosh on one side and your Volt Nike football branding on the other. Other than that, all you're going to find inside the box as you guys can see are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what is essentially a blacked out variation of the Nike Magista Opus that in my opinion looks absolutely fantastic. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a closer detailed look at the colorway itself, comparing it to the Academy Pack Magista Obra as well, going over the tech specs, talking about how these things fit, feel and perform, and essentially covering everything you could possibly want to know about the Magista Opus. So if you're interested in learning more about this specific shoe in this specific colorway, please stick around watch the entire video. If you guys are interested in purchasing a pair for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $200 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now, of course, this shoe is part of Nike's Academy Pack, which essentially is a line of blacked out shoes across all four main silos. Now, the reason why they've given it the Academy Pack name is because a lot of academies require their players to wear blacked out or mostly black shoes. So that's technically what this release is for. Of course, not all of us play for academies. You can still wear the Academy Pack uh, again, if you just like the look of blackouts, which I'm personally a big fan of, and I have to say the Magista Opus in the Academy Pack colorway looks really, really good. Now, as you guys can see, I have it side by side here with the Magista Obra in the Academy Pack colorway as well. They're both blackouts, but they're kind of opposites of each other in terms of how they're blacked out, if that makes any sense. Of course, the Nike swoosh remains very, very similar. You're going to find that it's matte black in the middle with a shiny black outline, and that goes for both the lateral and medial side. But you're going to notice that on the Obra, the majority of the upper features more of a shiny finish, and then the bring around the bottom has a matte finish. The opposite is the case on the Magista Opus. The ring around the bottom is shiny, as you guys can see, where the majority of the rest of the upper has a matte finish, which I personally prefer the look of. Now, of course, these two shoes do look distinctly different, even though they technically are the same design. This one's flying it. This one's a combination of mesh and uh, Kangalite. So they have a different look overall. Um, but again, they're both blacked out. If you like that type of a look, um, you can't go wrong with either of these two colorways. They're just different shoes. So it depends on what type of feel that you're looking for. The insole is volt yellow in color. The lining on the underside of the tongue is volt yellow in color, which I thought was a cool little detail. That really didn't have to be there. And then of course the entire outsole is black in color with some uh, volt yellow here in the tips of the four studs on the medial side of the forefoot. So that's pretty much it as far as the colorway is concerned. If you like blackouts, there's a lot to like here. So let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. As far as performance is concerned, the Nike Magista Opus is a highly underrated top of the line soccer shoe. Obviously the Magista Obra has seen the majority of the attention, but the Opus is just a great performer overall and for those that were fans of the CTR 360 Maestri 1, 2, and 3 this is the unofficial Maestri 4. I actually made a comparison video recently between the Maestri 3 and the Magista Opus if you guys want to check that out I'll leave an annotation on screen and basically what we're going to cover in today's video is all the basic tech specs that you should know about the Opus if you were considering a pair for yourself. Of course if you guys want as much detailed information as possible I would strongly recommend checking out the full written review on my website. That'll be the the very first link down below in the description. Also leave an annotation on screen to my playtest video of the Opus as well as my comparison video between the Opus and the Obra if you just want to see what the differences are between those two top end shoes within the Magista lineup. So what do you need to know about the Magista Opus? It features an upper that is a combination of what they call performance mesh, which acts as the liner as well as part of the structure of the upper, as well as a Kangalite top layer. Now Kangalite is a synthetic material from Nike designed to mimic the natural feel of kangaroo leather while still maintaining the benefits of a synthetic and that it's gonna be more lightweight, it's not gonna absorb as much water, it's gonna dry a lot more quickly, and it's also going to maintain its shape a lot better amongst other benefits of synthetic 
synthetic materials in general. No maintenance, of course. Generally a little bit easy to clean, although that's not necessarily the case here for the Magista Opus. But overall, it feels really great. It's leather-like in terms of the touch that it provides, but definitely not as bulky as something like a Legend 5 or even a Nike Premier. They're on the thinner side, but you still get that slight cushion sensation that you would expect from a leather shoe, which is really, really nice. Because you have all of these cutouts in the actual Kangalite upper, the shoes are very flexible and the upper just feels soft and natural on your feet from the get-go. There's very little break-in time required. Of course, all of that mesh is exposed, with, which does leave people a little bit worried. The protection that you get from this particular shoe is not the greatest. And as far as water is concerned, because I know a lot of people are afraid of getting their feet absolutely drenched when wearing this shoe in wet weather playing condition. Uh, based on my experiences with the shoe, if it's just raining and you're running around and the field isn't overly flooded, you're not going to have any issues at all with water getting inside the shoe. If you go and stand in a puddle for several seconds and let water really seep into that mesh layer, yes, your feet are going to get wet relatively quickly. But again, as long as you're not standing in puddles, you shouldn't have too many issues with keeping your feet dry. Now, as far as the finish on the upper, is concerned you're going to have a uh, standard kind of synthetic leather artificial leather grain um, finish going around the edges and then the parts of the upper that have more of a matte finish is slightly textured it's a very very fine grit sandpaper is kind of how i like to describe it it's a little bit of additional grip on the ball with no extra bulk or any kind of rubberized element so um, it's nothing too significant it's not too far off from a standard leather shoe but just a little bit of extra grip that you wouldn't otherwise have now of course the shoe is also finished off with acc all conditions can Control, allowing for better grip on the ball in wet playing conditions, which is exactly what you get for pretty much all of Nike's top end models. You do have the same lacing system that we did carry over uh, from the CTR 360 line, of course. Memory foam insert in the Kangalite tongue as well, which is really nice. This, of course, does have a standard low cut as opposed to the mid cut of the Magista Obra. An external plastic heel counter, which we'll get into more in just a second. The heel lining material is uh, smooth synthetic leather perforated at the back where the heel is, area is, and then smooth synthetic leather on the sides, which is really, really nice. And then of course the performance mesh, which you can see exposed on the outside of the shoe, is the only lining material on the inside. So it's a single layer, a very smooth, seamless mesh um, inside the boot that feels very get good against your foot and just makes for a nice comfortable feel from the get-go. The insole is fully removable. Same insole you would find on the Magista Obra. Uh, mesh liner on top, perforation throughout. And it's just a single layer of this yellow foam. Nothing too fancy, but it does get the job done. And then of course, a sole plate and heel counter. Entirely one piece, as you guys can see. I really like the external heel counter that they've implemented on the higher-end Magista models. It looks very similar to that of the Obra, which is made from a compressed nylon material, whereas the Opus, features more of a TPU plastic construction so it's a lot more like the Tiempo Legend in terms of its flexibility meaning that it's just more flexible in comparison to the Obra sole plate which is pretty stiff at first. I personally prefer this particular sole plate just because I like stuff to be a little bit more, more flexible. It makes for a more natural feel at first and just an easier break-in process overall. The stud pattern is new to the new Magista line um, and it's essentially a variation of what you're going to find from the Tiempo line as I just compared this shoe to. So you're going to find eight conical studs in the forefoot, two bladed studs in the middle as support studs, and one little toe pick mercurial S stud at the tip of the toe. And then unlike the Tiempo line, you're going to find conical studs in the heel as opposed to bladed ones. On firm natural grass playing surfaces, the traction is really, really good. I'm personally a big fan of the Tiempo stud pattern. Honestly, you're not going to feel much of a difference coming from the Tiempos to the Magistas if that's something that you're worried about. The performance is equally as good, and like I said, nearly identical if you ask me just based on how it feels and performs underfoot. So that's pretty much it as far as the tech specs go. Again, if you guys want more detailed information, I strongly recommend checking out the full written review on my website. That'll be the first link down below in the description of this video. And with that being said, let's move on to a quick weigh-in so we can see how lightweight these guys are. In terms of weight, the Magista Opus is Nike's second lightest top-end model at the moment, even lighter than the Magista Obra. So I thought it'd be fun to compare the weight of both the Obra and the Opus side-by-side -side in real time using this scale. Keep Keep in mind these are both in brand new condition and both the exact same size 9 US. We'll start off with the Magista Obra, throw it on the scale, and you can see that they weigh in at 7.1 ounces, the equivalent of 201 grams, which is actually pretty lightweight for a top end soccer shoe. We'll change the scale back to ounces, pull these off, and we'll throw on the Opus, and you can see that they weigh in at 6.7 ounces under the seven ounce mark which is pretty impressive the equivalent of 190 grams is this a significant weight difference 
The answer to that question is no. You're not going to notice too much of a weight difference between these two shoes, either in hand or on feet. But I will say that the Opus does feel noticeably more flexible and a little bit thinner on feet, which does give them more of a lightweight sensation when you're actually wearing them. So again, if you're looking for something that's going to be very lightweight, very flexible, and at the same time, a lot more comfortable, or at least a lot softer feeling on your feet in comparison to something like a Nike Mercurial Vapor 10, which would be the only model from Nike at the moment that's lighter than the Opus, then again, the Opus is a really, really solid option if that's the type of feel that you're looking for. All right, so here is a look at the Magista Opus on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock black laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of reflective red SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, check out the website sr4ulaces.com. You'll find a direct link to that down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, they're very, very comfortable from right out of the box. As I mentioned earlier in the video, very little break in time required. They have a nice snug fit about them. Because of the Kangolite upper having so many little cutouts, and basically only having a single layer of mesh kind of filling in the gaps. The shoe is very soft and very flexible on feet right from the get-go. There's really, it's not really going to get any softer. It will give a little bit as far as width is concerned, but the way these things fit and feel from right out of the box is more or less how they're going to stay for their entire lifespan, which is actually a very, very good thing. As far as the width of the shoe is concerned, like I mentioned, it is a tighter fit. It's pretty much the exact same shape that we got from the CTR 360 Maestri 3. So if you liked how those fit and feel, you're you're still going to like how the Magista Opus feels. It's just a little bit thinner on feet, uh, but equally as comfortable and arguably a little bit more flexible as well. And they're going to be suitable for a wide variety of foot types. If you have really, really wide feet, probably not the best option for you, but like I said, they will fit most people. As far as sizing is concerned, just like the rest of the Magista lineup, these guys run half a size small. So instead of going for my normal size 9 US, I bumped it up to a 9.5 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of Magistas in general, whether it's the Obra or the Opus, I would strongly recommend going a half size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right guys, sit for my review of the Academy Pack Nike Magista Opus. Again, if you guys are looking for more detailed information on the overall fit, feel, and performance of this shoe, be sure to check out the full written review on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. Also on that review page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal retail price. So if you're interested in a pair in any of the currently available colorways, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions regarding the Opus, feel free to ask those down below in the comment section and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video found it helpful and informative be sure to support it with a like subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching